Hey guys, Josh back with Planet Chinchilla coming to you with a special video about poop. Um, one of the more popular blog posts in the last couple weeks is dealing with chinchilla poop and how to keep it in the cage. First thing I can tell you is good luck. Um, it is difficult, but there is a couple tips that you can do to keep it in there. Um, and we're going to cover a couple of those right now. Another quick reminder. If you see the little icons on this video to click subscribe and hit that bell to get notified whenever I make a new one, go ahead and hit those and let's go ahead and get started here so I don't waste all of your day. Um, biggest thing I can tell you is keeping your poop in the cage is a lot more difficult than people make it seem. Sure, you've got you know a couple things that you can do. The first thing I would do if I were any of you is get the fleece. Um, and this is not a remedy to keep the poop in the cage. It's a remedy to make your life easier with the poop in general. So this fleece kind of helps catch things. It's got a little bit of a texture, so to speak. I mean, it's not, you know, super flat, super smooth. The poop will sit on there. Actually, I need to clean the cage a little bit here. That's not good, but the poop here will sit. But any of you who know a chinchilla, if they get a little bit feisty, you know, it's gonna find a way out of the cage. The next thing I can tell you to do is buy a shop vac and shop vac it like daily. Um, this is one day of poop, guys. Let me reopen this back up. So I just come down here and I use a shop vac every single day. Just vacuum it up, refill the food, do your thing while you're down there, whatever. Um, that just helps it not to accumulate in the cage. And it takes like five seconds. I just keep a shop vac. Here, I'll show you right behind this wooden door here. I mean, I just roll it out. Um, it's just like a extra closet back there. Roll it out, shot back in the cage, um, which I'll be getting ready to do here soon because she's made a mess down below. Last tip is put some garbage cans. I have one on each side. You can see that it's working. Um, it's not like I let these accumulate and just collect poop. Um, that's all poop and other stuff down the bottom of the can, but most of the time they tend to come out the sides. I don't see a lot of poop usually like down below here. Um, keep a garbage can on each side, just let it catch as those fall out. It's still not a remedy to make sure poop never falls on the floor, but it's going to help make your life a little bit easier. Maybe get yourself one of these little um, easy brushes so that you can use a dustpan. But it's tough, guys. It, it's not, you're not doing anything wrong when you wake up and you know there's poop on the floor. I would also recommend using a hard surface floor. Don't put your chinchilla in your bedroom for the obvious reasons, like them waking you up at really crappy hours every day. Put them down, you know, where they can still get socialization. This is a living room down here, so my family's down here. She's still around us. But the hard floors, I mean, it doesn't get any easier than just sweeping that up. Outside of that, um, you're kind of screwed. I mean, the poop's coming out of the cage. I can tell you that right off the bat. It is hard. It, it's always these little pellets like a mouse they don't smell it's not a big deal um, seriously it's not a big deal I have some of the worst OCD on the planet I mean I have a three-year-old and this is still how our living room looks I mean you got to clean up you know if you want things to be clean you got to clean it up so just do your thing make sure it stays clean but in general you're not going to fully eliminate poop falling out of the cage period um, Outside of that, I really didn't want to cover anything in today's video. I do appreciate you guys stopping by. I've said in a few of the recent videos that, you know, this this is new to me doing these uh, videos, the personal videos of my own chinchilla. I'm trying to make them a little higher quality for you guys. I don't know what you guys want if you don't tell me. So make sure you're leaving comments. Um, make sure you stop by the blog, planetchinchilla.com, P-L-A-N-E-T, chinchilla. Dot com. I've got over 120 informative posts, videos, etc. But I appreciate you guys. We're doing it for you. Let us know what you want. Make sure you click subscribe, hit that little bell to get notified, and we will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.